from these streets, very close to the cavern Rutland, came the fabulous Rutland sound, created by the prefab four, Dirk, Nasty, Stig and Barry, who created a musical legend that will last a lunchtime. They were discovered by their manager, Leggy Mountbatten, in a lunchtime disco very close to these streets. Their first album was made in 20 minutes. The second took even longer. Tonight, we examine the legend of the Ruttles. We look at their lives, their loves, their music. We examine some of the problems that made them what they are today. And we shall also be asking some of the people who worked with them whether they were really the sort of lovable people they were made out to be. We shall be asking many people who knew them what they were really like. Yes, tonight we examine the entire legend of the Ruttles. But where did the story start? The answer is right here. For on this very spot, Ron Nasty and Dirk McQuickly first bumped into each other. At this precise point, uh, just a few feet back here, Ron Nasty invited Dirk to help him stand up. Dirk Merely an amateur drinker agreed. And here, well, a few feet back there, a musical legend was created. They were soon joined by their guitarist, Stig O'Hara, a school leaver of no fixed hairstyle. But it would not be for another two years before they found their drummer, Barrington Womble, hiding in the van. When they did, they persuaded him to change his name to save time and his haircut to save brawl cream. He became simply Barry Wom. In October 1961, Leggy Mountbatten, a retail chemist from Bolton, entered their lives. Leggy had lost a leg in the RAF in the closing overs of World War II and had been hopping around Liverpool ever 